Hey, it's Ryan Breezy here, bringing you guys another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution. Here with my Dragoonity deck profile. Uh, definitely one of my favorite decks to play. Um, not very competitive, but it destroys in the story mode, and it's very fun to pick up some quick wins with. Uh, definitely still good on online duels. Um, I don't have any problems when picking up wins with it uh starting off uh first off let me know what decks you want to see in the future if you want to see anything um and then i'm getting in this profile here two ash blossom joy of spring to help negate uh drawing uh, you discard it from your hand stop summoning and drawing power for your opponent one copy Dragoonity Arma Levitin. Basically, special summon this card when you have a Dragoonity and a card equipped to it. Dragoonity is all about monsters with equips. It's basically uh, the flying knight people, and then you equip the dragon onto them. And then you synchro them into like a combo of the dragon and the knight. But, uh,. Here is you special summon him when you have a monster equipped to him. When he summoned a uh, target one dragon monster in your grave, equip it to this card. That's the effect for most of these cards here. <laughs> uh, but you can also do this from your grave as well as your hand. And that's his special ability. Uh, only run one of him as won't ever really use it he's pretty good to discard <laughs> three copies of mistletane um he's pretty i would say he's the third card you want out of all of the deck you want this card the third most uh you special summon this card by sending one dragoonity monster you control to the grave and then when it's summoned you get to target a Dragoonity in your grave and equip it to this one. You want to summon this guy? Or you basically want to summon your tuner. And then you special summon this guy on top of your tuner. Grab your tuner out of the grave. And then you synchro. And then it starts your combo. Um, this is your number one tuner. Uh, this guy, he's a level 2 right now. But when he's used for a Dracoonity, um, I think, or maybe it's a dragon, he can be traded as level 4. Nope, nope, it's just Sync or something in general. You can either use him as a level four, 2 or level 4. I do love doing my level 6 Synchro plus a level... Full. <laughs> I love making uh, like a joke where level 6 plus level 2 equals level 10 um, because this guy can double his level. Definitely your best tuner. You want to pick this guy anytime you get a chance as your tuner. Uh, Dragoonity Dark Spear. I'm running two of these guys. Not useful, really probably take them out of the deck completely if you had something better but it's a level 3 tuner um only level 3 i thought he was be level 2 or an even number not quite good for the deck uh once per turn you can tribute one dragon type to grenade monster you select that's pretty good actually that's pretty good so anyway uh you want to summon this guy normal and then you tribute himself and then you get one of your winged beasts. That's really good. Hmm. I didn't know you could do that. Ducks. This is probably your number two best card in the deck. Um, he's your winged beast. Anytime you normal summon this guy, you get to search out a dragon in your graveyard. What you want to search for is Koos. As he's your number one tuner. And then you go synch synchro those together. And you start your combo. Uh, Dragoonity, Leech, and Air. 
not the greatest thing to draw into. You, you can also take Legionnaire plus Dark Spear, level 6. What you want to get is level 6 and then you want to, or you can go level 8, and then you want level 10. Level 10 is your boss monster. But when this card is normal summon, target 1, level 3, or lower Dragoonity Dragon in your graveyard and equip it. The problem with the, this guy is all the other tuners have an ability to special summon themselves from the back row while they're equipped. This guy doesn't. <laughs> Uh, anyway, send one Dragoonity card from your spell and trap zone to the grave and target one, face your opponent controls, destroy it. Hmm. Dragoonity Militum. I just added him in. He's really not that good. 1700 attack. Uh, once per turn, select one Dragoonity card in your spell and trap zone and special summon it. It's a good way to get um, this guy out of the back row, but that'd be about it. Dragoonity Flanix, he's your number two tuner. Number one's Coos. Uh, you want him in your grave, you want this guy in your grave, kind of. But prioritize, prioritize Coos, you know. Uh, once per turn, while this card is equipped to a monster, you can special summon this equip card. That's his effect. Because Coos already has this effect, and then he has another effect where he can double his level when you're synchro summoning. That's why he's the best. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, he just, whenever you have this guy equipped to a monster, you can special summon him out of the back row, and you got a tuner. Dragoonity Senatus, your number one card in this deck. Easily. Discard a Dragoonity card, and equip a Dragoonity tuner from your deck to this card. So you want to search for Koos. <laughs> and then that starts your combo, level 6 into level 10. Um, let's see, you have another effect. You can only use this effect once per turn. Yada yada yada. If it drew any card you control, it would be destroyed by battle. You don't really use that effect. You can destroy this card instead. But you don't want to, as this is your best card. You want this on the field. <laughs> At least it's your combo starter. I did add this guy in, Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms. Kind of useful, kind of not. I don't know how to what to think about this guy yet. You discard a card and one wind monster in your grave and add any dragon monster from your deck to your hand. That's the effect I really want to use with him. Um, get to search out for Koos or whoever the heck you want. Um, he also has an effect where you can banish two wind monsters or dragon from your hand or grave and then special summon him. During the end phase, return this card to the hand. So he, he keeps going in and out for you. He, he is okay. <laughs> dragon Mastery. It's a continuous effect. Um, each monster you control equipped with a Dragoonity monster gains 500 attack once per turn. You can select a face up monster and add a equip card to it. Basically grab a monster from your graveyard, slap it on, gains 500 attack. <laughs> Dragon Ravine, here's our uh, field spell here. Pretty good. Once you have to activate it by discarding a card, but then you get to search for whatever you want, pretty much. Dragon monsters. Uh, three Dragoonity Divine Lance. You equip this onto a monster; it gains attack equal to its level times 100. When you equip this onto our big boss monster, it's level 10, plus a thousand, and then. It's effect it is unaffected by traps. Whenever you have this on, it's unaffected by traps. Plus, you can equip tuners on the monsters. And if you combo with that, that's another 500. Then you can combo the actual card for another 500. <laughs> boost up another 1,000. Uh, 
one foolish burial I'll specifically to send Coos to the graveyard because you need him. If you have, if you do this, there's, there's just so many combos to do with this deck with Coos and Monster Reborn here. You want to use that for one of your Wing Beast guys. Um, Swallow's Nest. I just added this to the deck too. Tribute one face Wing Beast monster. Special some another Wing Beast monster. I added this in for getting rid of the bad wing beast monsters we have, uh, Legionnaire and Militum, so that we can get the good ones, Ducks and Senatus. One Terraform to search for uh, Dragon Ravine. This card I have never used before. I'm testing it out in this deck. Um, Barrier Wave. Activate by tributing one Synchro Monster when your opponent declares an attack. Change all attack position monsters your opponent controls to defense position. Then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attacking monster's defense. So it's kind of a risky play, but it could be a good end move, is what I'm thinking. I don't quite know. One fiendish chain, you can put any trap you want. You activate this one, you bam, lock down a monster. He can't activate any effect, he can't change his battle position, he can't attack. Uh, infinite impermanence uh, again I run this in a bunch of decks you can activate it in your hand to just straight negate a monster effect or you can set it like a normal trap and activate it to negate a monster effect and then it also negates any card in a column and then lastly three copies of quaking mirror force as my generic trap you can replace without any trap you want whatever you feel like your favorite traps are starting off here we got our boss monster here Dragoonity Knight Ascalon um, he's level 10 um, his effect is you can banish one Dragoonity monster from your graveyard and then banish any card you want I think it might have to be face up I don't remember no, it doesn't. It doesn't even have to be face up. I remember now. Plus, when it gets destroyed, you get to special summon any Dragoonity monster you want from your extra deck. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you get to use this banish effect as many times as you want in one per one turn. So you can just, if you want to get rid of your whole graveyard, you can just banish your opponent's whole board. <laughs> uh Two copies of Barcha, I think. Oh, I have a third copy in there. I can't remember really too. Uh, kind of good. He does the kind of same role as Vadriana down here. We'll get to her. I know Vadriana way more. I prefer Vadriana. Uh, when this card synchro summon, target any mo number of Dragon Dragoonity tuner monsters in your grave and equip them it gains 300 attack for each one when it's a level 8 so you think we're summoned into this guy using um, Senatus or Ducks with Koos and then you got Barcha here and then you bring back Koos and then you synchro again for your level 10 boss monster um, yeah, that's about it there. Uh, Dragoonity Knight Gaydurg. Um, once per turn, add a level 4 beast, dragon or wing beast monster from your deck to your hand, then discard a wing dragon beast. So basically, you can get rid of your trash cards like these and get in the money with those. Uh, Dragoonity Knight Lewin. Lewin's pretty weird as it's like backwards compared to all the other ones. It's a tuner synchro. And I don't know. I don't really ever use him at all. I go the easy route I know that's money. <laughs> Where is he? Target one Dragoonity Monster Graveyard to equip to this card. I, I'm not even going to read his effect. I don't use him. I only have him in the deck so I can get out to White Aura. Bahamut, which 
I don't ever go into Lewin, so I don't ever go into this guy either. <laughs> uh, Vatriana, uh, he's a level 6 tuner. Um, when you synchro summon into him, you get to pick a level 3 or lower Dragon Dragoonity Monster Graveyard. Do you want to pick Koos? Um, so when you're banishing with um, Ascalon, make sure you don't get rid of Koos as you realize we're using Koos over and over and over. <laughs> Once per turn, send one equip card from your grave and double his attack. You're never going to use this effect <laughs> as you're just going to synchro into this guy, grab Koos back, special summon Koos out, go into your level 10 boss monster. Um, one copy high speed ride Chambara. Speed roids are one of my favorite decks, so I brought one of their monsters here just to fill up the level 5 roll for synchros. Um, this guy, he can make two attacks each turn, and every time you attack with him, he gains 200 attack, so his attack just keeps going up and up and up and up. And if this card is into the grave, you can target one banished speedroid card. You're not going to use this effect in this deck. You'll use it in speedroids, which will be coming soon. Uh, but yeah, this guy, you just he gets two attacks each turn and keeps raising his attack each time he attacks. So that counts when you're getting attacked in two, too. <laughs> one Stardust Dragon. I hope you know what he does. Um, Anytime a card effect activates that would destroy Stardust, you can tribute it and negate the activation, destroy whatever card that was targeting it. And in the next turn, Stardust Dragon is back on your field as if nothing happened. White Aura Bahumet. Um, don't ever really go into him, but I need another level 10. Because you can really pump out Ascalon. And after you go through those three, you kind of need another option. Uh, during your turn, when this card is synchro summoned, you can special summon one Divine Dragon token. Unless there's another better level 10 synchro that I don't know of that I can get into, <laughs> let me know. Once per turn, your opponent's turn, if you can. Basically, when you synchro summon, you get some tokens. If you don't have any tokens, uh, you can special summon another token. This card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect. While you can control a token, you can special summon this card in defense position. So you can just keep coming out as long as you have tokens on your field. Uh, we got Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon. He's back from uh, just another personal favorite card. Detach two materials from this card, and you can steal uh, an opponent's half of their attack points for permanently. Lastly, we've got Dragoon and Ignite Romulus. Don't ever use him, as I don't really link that much. Two dragons or two uh, winged beasts, which is all Dragoonity monsters. You can add one Dragoonity spell or trap, or one dragon ravine from your deck to your hand. Decent. If a dragon monster is special summoned from your extra deck to your zone that points to, you can special summon one dragon or winged beast from your hand. But for the rest of the turn, its effects are negated, which ruins most of Dragoonities. <laughs> and it cannot be used as link material, which is even worse. <laughs> Side deck. None of these are good cards. Um, I have an Assault Wyvern. It's just a level 4 dragon. If this card destroys an opponent by monster, you can tribute it, especially some any dragon you got in your hand or grave. Which I'm pretty sure I was using to bring back our level 10 boss. <laughs> Dragoonity Atlas was in my deck until recently. If you normal summon this guy, you can special summon a Dragoonity from your hand. And if this guy gets and if this guy is equipped and you send it gets sent to the grave, you get to target a card on the field and destroy it. Not the greatest, not the worst. I don't know. What to think about it. Marshmallow, I have him in my side deck. <laughs> Sometimes you need a wall. That's why he's on here. He can't be destroyed by battle. And if he gets flipped up, 
your opponent takes a thousand damage. That's in case you need a wall, there's a good option. There's probably better options, but he's marshmallow. Forbidden Lance, um target one face up monster on the field. Uh it loses eight hundred attack, but it's unaffected by spell and traps. Rising air current, here's a field spell if you wanna run it. Increase all your wind monsters, which all of those guys are up by 500, but decrease their f defense by 400, which ain't a big deal. <laughs> Drunity Legion, um, you can activate one of these effects. It's not really good, as I took it out of the deck. <laughs> Target one Drunity monster in Spell and Trap Zone, Special Summon it. Most of them that I have in the Spell and Trap Zone can already Special Summon themselves. <laughs> Or you can target one Dragoonity monster control, equip that target with a Dragoonity monster from your grave, which you don't really need this. Most of the cards have either special summoning capabilities or abilities that grab from the grave and put it on already. I mean, another copy of Gay Derg, he's already in our side deck. He's already in our side deck. Trident is a bit weird. He's level 7, which makes him very odd. Once per turn, you can choose a number 1 to 3, then send that many cards from you can control to the grave. Then look at your opponent's extra deck and send that many cards from the extra deck to the grave. I don't, I don't like his effect. And then another copy of Dark Rebellion. And that is my uh, Dragoonity deck. You guys are going to see how much this thing can pop off in a minute, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, we got our first challenger, the Godfather 80. Let's see what she can do. She's got my Valentine. Pretty cool if it was Amazon or Harpies. We're going second with our Dragoonities. Forty-six card deck for that guy. Terrible hand. Holy cow! We can turn this around. She is playing harpies. I've never seen that harpy card though before. Okie dokie. Set that card in that column so hopefully when I activate it it blocks off that okay I need to play Dragon Ravine going to activate it going to send one card that I have in my hand to the grave to search my deck for Actually, I'm going to search for a Koos. This isn't... My idea right here is normal summon Koos. And then I'm going to special summon Missile... Miss... Missilitane. <laughs> then his effect is going to activate. It's going to bring back Koos from our grave. And he just stopped us. That really hurts. Let's battle then. I guess I'll take a 2100 attack point boost. Or lead. So he stopped our combo. Uh, we can start it again with Dragon Ravine over there. But Harpy's Hunting Ground. Every time you... Uh, Play a harpy card, you destroy a spell or trap on the field. Please don't. I mean, I might as well activate it. Get rid of her ability. She crashes. That's fine. Oh, I have 
from my grave. I got a missile tank, my trap, and a spell. Not a good draw. So we're going to Dragon Ravine again. Discard him. What do I want? This ain't good. I need to get one of my tuners into the grave here. Now, I'm just going to go Senatus. Is your number one uh, search card you want? What did I just do? No, no, don't activate. <laughs> activate this effect. We're discarding ducks. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever, we're starting a combo. We're grabbing Koos out of our deck with Senatus' ability. No, I don't want to activate Swallow Nest. Oh, I need to activate Koos. That's my first duel of the day. I'm not in it right now. Gotta get my head to get back in. So here we get to pick either Vadriana or Barcha. I prefer Vadriana. Then we're gonna synchro summon into level six. Vadriana's effect is going to activate here. We're gonna bring back Koos onto the field. Attach to it, and then we're gonna activate Koos's effect. The special summon him back up on the field and then our level 6 monster plus our level 2 tuner is going to equal level 10 yeah that's some good math thanks to Kusa's ability where he becomes level 4 when you're synchro summoning we have Ascalon on the field now what do you have that can activate? it's not this card Got to be something in your hand. Well, why can't I activate this guy? All winged beast players. No. It is main phase two, right? I don't, I don't see... Yeah, we were going to win that anyway. As long as we had Dragon Ravine on our field, we were just going to keep keep the combo going. Uh, very easy duel there. And took like three times longer to find the match than actually <laughs> winning the match. But I'll see you guys in match two as we find our second opponent. See ya. I don't even need to do a cut for that. We got Bass to Mouth 911. He popped right back in. Or not the same guy, but. I don't even know the name of that character. We're going second again. I haven't watched far enough in that anime. Interesting hand. Don't quite know what I want to do with it. I think it's gonna have to use Dragon Ravine. We're gonna hold. Have to hold on to that for later. Or we could Unchained Twins, Yuhara. Disciples of the true Draco Phoenix. True Kings. Tribute 1, true Draco, or true Draco monster. It's a continuous spell. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm. Monarchs? He has us locked down right now. I can't, right now I can't, well he has that field spell on the field, I can't use my special, special, um, extra deck. So my move right now is Tempest. Get rid of my legionnaires. What? Okay, he's just searching for a true king. I need to get over this 2300, I think. End phase. He stays on the field until the end phase of their turn, I want to say. That just lets him get a free tribute, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he can tribute my monsters for his monsters. Dynamite Knight, the true Draco fighter. But you have activated my trap. Waking Mirror Force. I think you can negate that, yeah. No, he can't negate it. He just searches for a card. Perfect. Although his deck is all tributing, so. I need a card. good card here. Senatus, no. We have to play Dragon Ravine, um, and then we have to basically we just gotta search for another Ducks. We have to discard this Flanix. Now he thinks I only have one ducks in my hand. I should be able to special summon now. As long as I can get this combo off, I'm pretty sure we win. Why can't I special summon? While you have no cards in your extra deck, and you are the only player that controls a tribute summon monster. We have to hope he has enough. Target one, true Draco card, destroy it. If you do the attack and defense of all face up monster your opponent's control, become half. Ain't no problem. So I'm going to main phase two, and we're synchro summoning. I don't think I can get my full combo with Flanix. <laughs> I've yet to draw into Akus, and that's my problem right now. If we had a Koos, we can wipe his whole board, and then... What can we activate in our grave? You can... If this card is... No. I'll mess with that later. I'll reread it later. 
We want Stardust or Romulus. I'm gonna go Stardust. Yeah. Why did I think for some reason Stardust was 2800? <laughs> Diaphragm, which boosts all his Dragonic monsters. What can I activate? I'm gonna activate it, destroy it. Stardust will come back. He can't flip up his monster. He's stuck. So it should be one. Stardust returns back to our field. And your turn, dude. <laughs> there we go. We did it, boys. Senatus is going to give us the combo we need to win. Activate. Send ducks to the grave. Just going to give me my coos. Dude, whatever you activate, I'm just going to negate it with Stardust. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, special summons. Mm. What? Mountain, I don't mean to be the time I have to activate this. I don't know what it does. You can banish two or oh. um, we can get rid of a ducks and our boy F Blanix. Bring this guy out. I don't have a level 9 monster, I know that. Please don't have a graveyard effect. Yep. <laughs> this card is sent to the field. You can special summon one unchanged soul. 3000! What a misplay by us attacking into that. Stardust returns back to our field. Whatever card we draw, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to Dragon Ravine if we want a chance. Please attack into our Koosh. I don't like him setting that card. Who are we going to take out? Alright. I got this duel. 
Perfect. We already got we got fodder in our hand now. I'm gonna keep on to the Dragoonity card. Target one true Draco King in your graveyard special summon in defense mode. As long as that card gets activated, it's fine. We're going to Dragon Ravine for the last copy of Ducks. Ducks goes up. As effect doesn't activate because we don't have any dragons in our graveyard. Our level three or lower. We got Vadriana coming in. Vadriana's effect is gonna bring back Coos. And we're just gonna start popping his board. Coos activates the special summon, and here comes Ascalon. Getting Ascalon on the board sometimes hard, but once you do it, big money. Okay, now I need to read these cards, see if they are unaffected or something. Once per turn, if this card is destroyed by battle of card effect. Okay, it doesn't have. We're gonna start popping everything. Get gone. Other monster, get banished. We'll banish the ducks. Time to attack in. End turn. That was a great turn for us. Um, next turn we can still Dragon Ravine again and put up a... He's gonna special summon buddy, somebody out from the grave. That one lets him draw another monster I think. Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna banish all of them. Eventually. Ascalon's effect activates. We don't need Senatus in here anymore. He's gonna activate again. We're gonna get rid of him out of there. And then we're gonna summon Militum for game. This is the first guy in like two videos that hasn't surrendered. <laughs> Alright, it only took us two duels. We won both of them. As you can see, our Dragoonity deck is pretty good. Um, yeah. It's definitely one of my favorites to play. I love getting Ascalon on the board and just banishing everybody. But, here's our deck again. Um, Feel free to copy it, whatever. It's very fun to play. Make your changes to it and let me know what you guys want to see in the future. I've got a few more of these videos I'm going to record today. And I'll see you guys in the next video with Red Eyes coming up. I'll see you guys there.